Hey all, Russ here, RVer TV. How you doing today? Hey, I'm heading down here on California Highway 22. Heading over here to Barengo Springs. I was here a few days ago to do some pre-shots. I'm filming uh, for the TV episode, RV with me. I'm going to do a segment on this place. And check it out. It is boondocker heaven. First stop is Anza Barengo Desert State Park. 600 acres. That's right, 600 acres of boondocking, four-wheeling. Look at that. Look at that view. My goodness. There's a four-wheeler right there. Dirt bikes, you name it. All these parks are designed for four-wheeling and hiking. You can hike all over in here. I mean, that even reminds me of uh, Death Valley there those mountains but look at that isn't that pretty and look at them guys just sitting up on the hill I mean you could boondock here forever they even have courses laid out look at this they got tires ramps it's all fenced pretty cool no one's really using them today but look at that <laughs> good way to break your neck <laughs> but I bet it's fun too I'll put links in the description for all this stuff definitely a must see look at them guys there's even restrooms out here in certain areas not all over like little groups sand dune city Well, I'm going to head on into town. There's plenty to explore there. And right there is Highway 22. So, let's go on into Brango Springs. I'll be back. Okay, I know these segments will be chopped up. I will do a recap on this all, all this video. Probably in a few days. I got to put all this together for the TV show. Once again, this will be featured on RV With Me TV show. But what a pretty day. This whole area is also part of a stargazing. International Darken community for stargazing. I guess people from all over the world. There's like four, four or five towns around USA that have that title. And this is one of them coming up. There's a company here that also uh, has desert tours. They will take you out in the desert for a fee and show you all around. So check them out too. Alrighty, welcome to Barengo Springs. This is a true oasis here. Okay, first stop, we're going to go check out this RV resort. We're not quite all the way in town yet. So we're going to head out here and check out the Springs of Borrego. Borrego. It's a golf course and RV park. Everything I've seen online about this place is really, really nice. Their rates are, you know, in the ballpark of what it is. Now this is a full-blown golf course with RVs. There's also a mobile home community just right down the road, too. So, let's go check her out. Wow, this is nice. Looks like they're all pull-through sites. Golf course is on the right. Camera probably ain't showing that. I'll stop up here and get out and take a few shots of the video so doesn't look that full yet but I bet in uh, January this place is packed alrighty I'm gonna park hop out and see what we can find I'll be back look at this picture now you got the stream the bridge RVs in the back with the mountains and palms in a manicured golf uh, green. 
Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Forgot to mention a waterfall. <laughs> oh, lordy. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, it looks like they give you quite a bit of room between rigs. That looks good. Well kept. Very nice place. Nice view of the mountains. Alrighty. I'm going to hit back on the road. Go see what else we can find. Well, that place is just gorgeous. I'll have to research the rates. It's probably about... I don't know, the other ones were about 70 bucks, 60, 70 a night. And I'm sure they'll charge you for the golf fees. Okay, we're coming into Barango here. Up here is a place called Christmas Circle. It's a park right in the middle of town, and it's one big circle. You can drive all the way around it. We'll do that right now. They have a lot of little community events here. Look at the mountains. There they are again. Barango's not that big. I think population here is like 2,000. So I'm going to park, get out, take a few pictures too. So, once again, I'll be back. Alright, here's the sign. Christmas Circle Community Park. It's not very big, but it's green. Trees. Probably a nice little place to relax. Got a lot of cars circling you though. Not bad. It's like a bar and restaurant across the street. Good shot of the street. That's the main drag there. We're going to go up there. There's a visitor center at the end of that road. Okay, there's an art institute there. Alright, I'm going to hop in the car and we'll head on up the road. Okay, notice there's no street lights. And that's how they get that international darkened community. All the lights on the businesses are kept low. That's for all the stargazing. That's how they get that rating. But there's zero street lights here on purpose. So, okay, we'll head on up. Alrighty, coming up here on the right, there's a tennis center, a public tennis courts. And on the left, there's a vintage RV park, all vintage old RVs. Okay, we're going to go up here. We're going to be pulling in Palm Canyon. This is the other big RV resort. Has a lot of history, a lot of fame here. I don't know about fame, but it's right next to the mountains. The stargazing here is supposed to be better than anywhere else for an RV park. So let's pull in. We'll go check her out. Okay, Palm Canyon Resort. There's no golf course here. <laughs> that other one was nice. Look at the horsey. And all their buildings. This is also a hotel, motel. All their buildings are fixed up like little, uh, like a little town, Wild West town. That's cool. Alrighty. Looks like most of them are pull-throughs. Full hookup. Look at the mountain view in the back. Got a pool. Well, you imagine laying in the pool at night looking at the stars. And they got them a restaurant, bar, grill. There's a coffee shop. We'll go and take a picture. Here's where you check in. They got rooms and also a coffee shop. Alrighty, next stop, we'll go up see the visitor center. I was told this is where to get all the info about the area. It was out here at the Visitor Center. And this is kind of going up the hills. Those mountains, I mean, it's full of hiking. I'm only in the valley. I mean, there is, like I said, 600,000 acres of land here. Some of it's BLM, some of it's state. I have no clue on it all. But definitely, this is one I'm going to come back to personally and just stay. I love it here. This is nice. Okay, I'm going to wind around here, get up visitor center, and I'll hop out, take some pictures, and I'll be back. Ok, 
Okay, welcome to Anza Barango State Park. This is their visitor center. There's hiking trails. I'm sure they got flowers and all that kind of stuff around here. Well, let's go wander around. We'll check it out. It says overlook bridge. We'll go up, see what it overlooks. Nice. This is nice. Down there is town. That's where we were down that way. View to the east. That's looking off towards town there. Pretty. There's a little hiking trails. The building's underneath us. We'll go down there in a minute. Other views. Pretty. I'll tell you, I've been impressed all day. Weather's perfect too. Can't beat the desert in November. All right, head down the stairs. Look at all the stonework. I mean, look at that. Look how the building's built into the hill too. That really helps to keep it cool in the summer, I bet. Okay, here's our vi visitor center. They got a discovery lab. There's all kinds of fossils that they process here. And I think the rangers work out of here too. So, well, let's go on in. Nice. Look at this. So, Storyboards. Little video storyboards, ATM machine, of course. <laughs> Little gift shop, pretty cool. Very well done. There's some of their fossils that they found here. How about that? If the walls could talk, huh? Look <laughs> at the tortoise shell. Uh oh, look out, big cat. Very, very well done. You could easily spend several days just exploring around all this, around their hiking trails. There's just a lot to see and do here. Alrighty, well I'm gonna cut out of here. Like I said, I'll do a recap, cause I'm really bouncing around, I know it, cause I'm filming for the show. So I've been just ago, taking short clips for the YouTube here. So I'll definitely do a recap on this place once I publish this video. Also coming up, there's 130 metal statues all throughout the desert. I did fly the quadcopter, so at the end of this video here, I will post those so everybody can uh, see a glimpse of them. And I will show more of that in the recap. I mean, once again, I haven't even scratched the surface of things to do here. Alrighty, this is Russ signing off now. Hope everyone has a great day. Don't forget to travel safe and talk to you real soon. And come visit Barango Springs, California.